The Russell Wilson Paradox. How could something so good for the fans in Denver turn out to be so bad? Russell Wilson had a $243 million contract with $124 million guaranteed provision in it. You see, someone had a plan, namely the general manager. And I can vividly see his plan. I want a quarterback that's a winner, a leader, a teacher, that's selfless, that's fair, centered, and has a strong family presence. The quarterback, in my vision as a GM, will be a guy that is truly an ambassador to the NFL. You know, Russell Wilson is really a great quarterback. You know, I've never seen this kid act out. And a lot of players seem to have a problem with somebody that they can't figure out. They have a problem with somebody that doesn't show their cards. This guy always remains centered. In my opinion, the Broncos GM shot himself in the foot with his two coaching hires. He hired two coaches with little humility and too much prima donna. Now you sit back and ride with me, I'm gonna give you total proof of my assessment. You guys do remember Hackett's first game when he opted to take the ball out of the $240 million quarterback's hand and kick a 60-yard field goal. Now, they lost that game because of that field goal, but what that said to me was it was more about Hackett than Wilson. And if you read Russell Wilson's body language, he had already learned that this coach was all about himself. Remember when Wilson came off the field and he looked at the kicker and just said, hey, good luck. Wilson has always been and will always be the consummate professional. So in the tizzy, the Broncos GM had to go into the NFL's recycled hiring pool and came out with Sean Payton. In case you guys didn't know, Sean Payton is a disciple of Bill Parcells. So the Broncos GM hired Sean Payton. I guess the guy was thinking that Sean Payton could duplicate what he did in New Orleans. Look guys, there is only one coach that has won multiple Super Bowls with multiple quarterbacks. And that coach is the great Joe Gibbs. Joe Gibbs won Super Bowl 17 with Joe Theismann, Super Bowl 22 with Doug Williams and Jay Schrader, and Super Bowl, I think it's 26 or 27 with Mark Rippey. Now check this out. Russell Wilson is Joe Gibbs 2.0. Joe Gibbs has to be the most selfless coach in NFL history. You cannot have a selfless, humble, winning quarterback and a coach that's a prima donna. It's never going to work. Now, this is when things get really stupid. Sean Payton is hired to fix Russell Wilson. Now, the coach, they just fired Hackett could have been the problem. It has to be Russell Wilson because now we have the great Sean Payton. Now, Russell Wilson has an impeccable background. Now he's going to be fixed by a druggie. Sean Payton knows exactly how much Sudafed to purchase at Walgreens. They say that Sean Payton was smoking so much crystal meth that if he farted, everybody in the room would get high. Now, if you don't believe that Sean Payton is a druggie, just read the case uh, from the Saints in New Orleans. And it's very, very explicit, especially if you see who was the mastermind of the case. It was a guy that New Orleans actually hired as charge of security. And he came after Payton for drug use, opioids. Just last spring about Eight, nine months ago, my buddy was working down in New Orleans at the Superdome. He said, see, you wouldn't believe what was going on at the Superdome. He said, you can get in there, especially if you're undocumented, and just start working. 
He said, they don't care nothing about the OSHA rules. They don't care nothing about safety. They just get in there and get it done. He said he talked to an old lady that owned a bar. She said, you know what? In New Orleans, if you have money and power, no rules apply. You can get whatever you want. Remember when they were building that Hard Rock Hotel in New Orleans and it just collapsed? Seems like nothing happened. Ask your friends from New Orleans if what I'm saying is true or not. The NFL monopoly protected Sean Payton. He was not charged for being the druggie that he is. And this drug addict was hired to fix somebody that we don't have anything negative on. Amazing. So when this GM hired Sean Payton, his vision for Russell Wilson was totally done. Sean Payton is a recycled NFL prima donna who wants to do things his way. Ultimately, he wants his guy. Russell Wilson is now off to the Patriots, I hope. But Tom Brady is the only starting quarterback to be a starting quarterback and win a Super Bowl on two teams. When Brady went to Tampa Bay, he had a prima donna coach. Because of Brady's personality, he is a winner. The next season, where was that coach? He wasn't on the field anymore. Wilson did not have enough Super Bowls to do what Brady did in Tampa Bay. I am hoping and praying that Bilicek, you know, Bilicek is a great defensive coach, can be in the same league as Joe Gibbs with Russell Wilson as his quarterback. I really believe that if everybody with the Patriots are on board with Russell Wilson, next season, they will be something to be dealt with in the NFL.